Yes, sir. It's Wrestling Night in Iowa. I'm Midnight Guthrie alongside the right price Aaron Masterson. Welcome to 3X Wrestling. Now, we get before we get to tonight's matches, we want to thank the great fans of Grimes and Boone, Iowa that came out this past weekend for events. And we want to especially thank the million-dollar man, Ted DiBiase, for appearing at those events. Yeah, it was a great time. I'm glad everybody was able to attend, get the autographs, enjoy the food. What well, a wonderful time. And he, he, DiBiase is such a wonderful ambassador for professional wrestling, and it's great to have a guy like that involved with the business. Uh, now coming up in 3X Wrestling, we have two events at the end of June here in central Iowa, as in Des Moines. We'll be here on June 29th at the Baradas at Forte Center for Downtown Destruction 4. That should be an incredible event. And on June 30th, we'll be in Mingo, Iowa for the Mingo Days Town Festival, a great afternoon show, all sorts of 3X Wrestling action. Check out 3xwrestling.com for more details. You know what we should do? What's that? We should get to the matches. Let's get to the matches, Aaron. Aaron, this should be a real outstanding contest. Two of the top young stars in the whole nation as we're set to see Darren Corbin take on Rock and Roll Mike Seidel. This is a first time singles contest. contest is two of the top young junior heavyweights in the country today, Darren Corbin and Mike Seidel going at it. A first time meeting between these two. This is a match that really the eyes of many promotions in the country have their eyes on. And this should be a legitimate contest, unlike the one last month where Darren Corbin pinned a moose. Tremendous high flyer, perhaps the fastest man in 3X wrestling. Definitely the most flexible. We know he's had his gymnast. Now Mike Seidel, he's got, he's got quite the fashion outside the ring himself. But I don't think even he's ever seen anything quite like the pants Darren Corbin has on. Yeah, I've never seen anything like that. This is a battle of pop versus rock. I know Corbin is sponsored by the apparel company. And that's Fans. Here we go. This should be great. I'm looking forward to this. Shake of the hands. Both been former 3X Wrestling Tag Team Champions. Neither has held singles going here in 3 I'm sure they've got winning the heavyweight title in Mace Gauntlet for the gold on their mind. Yeah, this would be a good contest to get them in line for a pure title for even heavyweight title. And Seidel, keep in mind, last October did win a battle royal despite his small size. Now look at this. Nice technical wrestling display by Seidel. Going to work on that left arm of Corbin. Both these men are fan favorites. Oh, this is sportsmanship, and this should be a real outstanding exhibition of wrestling. Well, take a look at these two. They're just matching. Oh, look at that. So smart of Seidel. Stepping on the back of the knee of Corbin to help him reverse the hole. Shoulder block by Seidel. Look at that. Impressive power. Goes for hip toss. Look at that roll through. Shades of Jeremy Wyatt there. Takeover. That's how I feel for Cannon. Excuse me. For Corbin. He wants to win this match. Last month, he was able to win two out of the three people he was up against. Oh. But he was not able to beat Jason Strife and end that winning streak. Yes. So I know this month, he's coming out and he really wants to win. So, and one of those men he pinned was Ryan Slade, who was coming off in a, a heavyweight title shot. So that was a huge victory in itself for Corbin. But he could not stop Jason Strife. You know he's got to have that in mind. Another match is right down the line. 
He really wants to cement himself as a strong singles competitor. He wants to make a good impression heading into that gauntlet for the goal. Nice arm drag there by Fidel. Right now, these two are just going toe to toe. Seidel, known for his high flight ability since his rookie year, where he was the 2009 Pro Wrestling Illustrated rookie of the year. But his technical wrestling has come so far in just the last year. Wow, look at that move. There you go, you never know what to expect from Seidel. We've seen this man litter. Oh my god! Oh my god! What a hard sweep of the leg. Well, there. not only did he fall to the mat, but his leg got caught and he landed a little bit more on his head. He didn't even have the benefit of crushing himself on the roof. He just hit the mat hard. Corbin goes right to work with the neck breaker. Oh! Wow, that is the spot he injured. I'm not sure that's a sign of Corbin I'm used to seeing. Sweep the legs on the top rope. No, I mean, oh wow, what a strike by Corbin. He's clearly motivated to get a win here. Yeah, we know that Wooden gets you more money in your pocket. That's what he needs right now. This is a flying, oh, big left-handed shot to the head. Oh, what a forearm by Seidel. Yes. Here we go. Now they're laying waste. Ooh, buddy. I was not expecting such a vicious strike in exchange for these two. Irish whip. Oh, boot to the face. Got him there. Not boot to there. An elbow now by Seidel. Is Corbin going to go in again? Oh, backbreaker. That was a huge backbreaker. Near fall with that one. Corbin was part of the longest reigning tag team in Spanish history. Who likes me? You know, tag team champions. Ryan Cruz comprised the North Star Express. Cruz recently has really limited his wrestling schedule. Uh, and Corbin has really excelled in the country in singles competition as well as teaming up with the man who trained him, Eric Cannon. Wow, uh, it doesn't seem like Besides the point, though, being trained by Eric Cannon, you can tell he's a really good wrestler. He's got he, he can hold his own. Sidell right. is in a bad way in the corner. The Corbin charges. Oh, what a counter by Sidell right in front of us here. That athleticism is incredible. Reminiscent of his brother, WWE star Evan Moore. Splits up and over Corbin. Goes under Corbin. He's going all over the place. Look at that drop kick. Nice counter into the leg lariat. Matrix by Seidel. Oh, what an insecurity. Three vicious kicks in a row. Even that is a terrible position to be in. He was face first in the return buckle. Now he gets up to his feet. Oh, backflip kick. Bananarama? He got him, Bananarama. I could do it. Oh, wow. That was close. Two and a half there. You know he gets that rock and roll stomp going. He's going He's up top now. Rocking. Oh, roll through by Corbin though. He's got the cover. Oh, wow. He almost had the victory there. Nearly stolen from him. Corbin cannot believe it. This crowd can't believe it. Suplex attempt? No, up and over goes Seidel. Oh, what a move! Right into the cover! Oh. Able to push out, he didn't quite have. Didn't quite have enough weight on his shoulders. No, just more on the midsection. But still a very good move there. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. right to the face. Jawbreaker! Corbin with his feet on the ropes. Oh, and the ref caught him. Why would Corbin with his feet on the ropes now? I mean, you talk about philosophy with Eric Cannon. We yeah, haven't seen Corbin put his feet on the ropes in literally years here for that season. Not since he was tag team champion. Whoa! Schoolboy roll up. Whoa! Wow! Kick out. Really caught him off guard. Oh, kick to the midsection. Oh, another one. Got him connected that time. Caught though this time. Oh, leg sweep. Uh-oh. You know where it comes. Explosion moves off. Oh, nails it. 
Hubbard. Great victory for Mike Seidel going into the gauntlet for the goal. Wow, he pulled out of that one. Seidel, Corbett's a great competitor to get a victory over. Oh, what a competitive match there. And Seidel can now look forward to the gauntlet for the goal. Wait a minute here. Oh! Low blow by Darren Corbin. Come on. What is this? What's he doing, here? Oh, what a left hand. Looks like he's taking out his frustration for the last two months. Oh, right to the groin. And we saw that groin attack last month from American Ground and Air. Yes. This is a continuation. They split the legs of Seidel in the air to throw them into the canvas. Vicious move. Now this is taking a little too far. Oh, no way. He's got him, this is bad. Jimmy Rockwell, Seidel's tag team partner, comes to the rescue. But Seidel is badly hurt. Yeah, that's a little too late. I mean, not only is he hurt, we gotta find out if he can even have kids. What a disgusting attack. Terrible assault on the groin muscle of Seidel there. What a sore loser, Darren Corbin. We haven't seen a side of him like this in years. I don't know if I've seen a side like this ever. There's been a time when he didn't care about the fans, but this, what are you doing? Come on, Corbin. What are you doing? He's lost it. He has lost his mind. Along he may be match. more dangerous than ever headed into the gauntlet for the gold in May. a vicious assault. I'm here with wrestling legend, the one and the only Perry Saturn. Perry Saturn, your thoughts on winning the 3XW Pure Heavyweight Championship? First of all, it's cool to be champion, but pure wrestling champion, I won it brawling in a pair of blue jeans and tape fist. I don't know how pure you can call it, and that's how I'm going to defend it, brawling. See ya. Your champion, the legendary Perry Saturn. The other guys, they think they know what special means. At Godfather's Pizza, we do special, and we do it better. We add the T to the Godfather's Specialty Pizza with your name on it. Classic combo, all meat combo, hot stuff, taco, yeah, even veggie and more. All of them piled high with the best toppings and 100% real cheese. Treat yourself special. Order specialty pizzas from Godfather's Pizza. Are you into WWE or 3X Wrestling? Then we have the place for you to hang out every Monday night and Sunday WWE pay-per-view events monthly. The Keg Stand in West Des Moines at 3530 West Town Parkway. Every Monday night you can hang out with 3X Wrestling staff and wrestlers while we watch Monday Night Raw. Plus the monthly WWE pay-per-view events including WrestleMania, Royal Rumble, SummerSlam and more. Friend 3X Wrestling and The Keg Stand on Facebook and we'll keep you updated. See you at The Keg Stand for wrestling, drinks and great food from Bach Catering. Should be a tremendous contest as Perry Satter makes his first defense of the 3X Wrestling Pure Wrestling title. And what a challenge at hand against the three-time former heavyweight champion, Delicious Devin Carter, with Commissioner Todd Countryman. Devin Carter poses a big, big challenge 
for our Pure Wrestling Champion, 255 pounds, six foot three inches tall. One of the top members of Genesis, and you gotta watch out for Todd Kutcherman at ringside. And keep in mind, Perry Saturn debuted in 3X Wrestling in February, defeating fellow Genesis member Gage Octane. So these guys want their revenge, and they want the Pure Wrestling title. Big main event action here in Grinnell, Iowa tonight. Carter is rightly upset with these drunken buffoons in the crowd tonight. Very vocal crowd here in Grinnell this evening. A very different crowd than we typically have at 3X Wrestling events. Uh, that is the first time I've seen a member of the crowd bare his ass at one of the wrestlers. A lot of firsts in 3X Wrestling. As here we go, we await the entrance of the 3X Wrestling Pure Wrestling Champion. professional wrestling, a true wild man, a true loose cannon. He's certainly unpredictable. Won the title at Spring Showdown 3 in a triple threat match with the former champion in the Anarchist Eric Cannon and Sir Bradley Charles. It was Cannon's, or excuse me, Saturn's first title win in a decade as he was out of professional wrestling for almost eight years fell into a spiral of drug use that led to homelessness for two and a half years but got himself clean and sober four years now he's been clean and sober uh, a true really a remarkable comeback story because now he's taking the microphone oh he's giving it to the crowd uh, A, the riskiest of moves giving this crowd in Grinnell tonight a microphone. I'd call that a serious lack of judgment by Mr. Perry Saturn. Well, I, uh, really though, I don't know if there's anyone better in 3X Wrestling right now as far as getting the crowd on their side and using them for a psychological advantage against their opponents. As he's been wildly popular uh, since he became a part of 3X Wrestling in February of this year. Color and elbow tie up. Now for Saturn, this is his first time since returning to wrestling that he is wrestling an opponent that's actually larger than he is. As from a weight standpoint, Devin Carter has 15 pounds on Saturn, but Saturn a very strong competitor, and he really he's been in tremendous shape. He's looked a lot better than a lot of people expected. Oh, and Devin Carter is no slouch in his own right. He's one of the strongest competitors in look the at, Look wrestling. at Todd Countryman. Well, that gave Devin Carter an opportunity. Jeremy Robb's already losing all control, but it's a lot. that was two big men to try to get in between, and then you got Countryman on the outside. Irish whip reversal. What a clothesline. Another Irish. Oh, looks like he was going for a... Devin Carter takes a breather. 
as Todd Kutchman confers with him on the outside. Well, I'd be wanting to take a breather too. Jeremy Robb needs to get control of this. And Perry match. Saturn's going after him. Now Perry Saturn. Oh, elbow drop there by Devin Carter. Perry Saturn just doesn't care though. This man's come to fight. Oh, drop to hold. Nice technical move by Devin Carter. Don't be fooled, folks. He's a tremendous all-around wrestler. You never know what to expect from Devin Carter, what he'll break out at any given point in the match. Saturn punching away. Big clubbing forearm from Devin Carter. Saturn, a multi-time former WWE, ECW, WCW champion. Devin Carter, though, he's, he's held many championships here in 3X Wrestling. They're really all over the Midwest. And Todd Kutchman, come on. Really, that's got to be a big part of their strategy here this evening is for Todd Kutchman to get involved as much as possible. Uh, when you're in there against a veteran like Perry Saturn, you got to take advantage of any slam. opportunity. But, you know, that worked against them against Gage Octane. With, with Gage Octane took on Saturn. Big leg drop, though. And that Todd Kutchman ended up ramming into Octane as Saturn avoided the interference. Oh, what a right hand. Saturn really lays in the strikes, as we saw when he was squaring off with Eric Cannon. Oh, I saw the welts on Eric Cannon's face after that match last night. Saturn certainly knows how to potato you. Oh, big right hand there. Oh, right to the eyes by Carter. Real raucous crowd here for our main event city attraction tonight. You disgust me, Guthrie. Now look at Countryman, speaking of disgusting, now look at that! Get off the apron, you little toad! He and was just very excited and to I see Saturn point here out, in the ring. He wanted to hug him. We've not seen that briefcase in almost a year, and yet he has brought the briefcase with him to ringside once again. That spiked many a man's head here in 3X Wrestling. Now, do we know what's inside that briefcase, or is this a Pulp Fiction situation? I have no idea what, I'm, sh I'm sure it's a loaded briefcase. Hard to the buckle, and again, he's trying to knock the tattoo right off his face, I think, here, Hollinger. Carter's about to take him for a ride here. Interesting strategy from Devin Carter right now. Does not pay off. Oh, what a fall. If Saturn can collect himself here, this might be a good time to go for the cover. Another big right hand. Just tremendous strikes here from Saturn. Oh, jawbreaker, great move. But that's what Devin Carter has to do is keep Saturn grounded so Saturn can't even break into his array of suplexes. I mean, he's a real innovator of offensive maneuvers as we've seen in the past. Irish whip. Runs into the, oh, big corner clothesline. Brutal. Saturn looks out of it right now. And then there, that's the power and force of Devin Carter charging it. You know, Saturn wisely ducks to the apron, but Carter quickly pulls him in. Carter needs to stop getting distracted by this crowd and just take advantage of the opportunity he's got here. Well, that's Saturn a very good out. point. Into the buckle again. Carter's taking a lot of time to set up these attacks. He's got to stay focused. Big boot into a neck breaker. The crowd's on their feet. Here we go. What a suplex. Todd Countryman's up on the apron. Oh, Saturn's going after him. Countryman goes running. Oh, and Carter cuts him off. What a strategy by Ty Countryman. How unfortunate for Perry Saturn. 
taking up a lot of time to set up this. Oh, low blow. The oh, wow. What a shot Countryman took there. Countryman hit very hard. Roll up in the ring, Saturn got him. Countryman is down on the floor. And another wild series of events at the end of the bout gets Saturn the victory. Wrestling has events all over Iowa, and we want you there. Experience the on-site action, visit the 3XW store, and meet the wrestlers. Hours of wrestling entertainment for $15 or less. Monthly TV tapings take place at the Baradas at Forte 3XW Coliseum in downtown Des Moines, the fourth Friday of every month, where doors open at 7 and bell time is 7.30. Check out 3XWrestling.com for more details and to sign up and find out when we're coming to your community. 3X Wrestling, you gotta be there.